Hey friends, welcome to Chemistry Lover. And in this video, I am going to discuss about the common mistakes while uh, writing the reaction mechanisms. So I pick up five uh, different steps of different reactions, and uh, one by one I will discuss them. So the first one is the protonation of an amide. So uh, this step you many time encounter while writing any reaction mechanism that uh, a amide is treated with some uh, protonic solvent so uh, protonation will take place in this molecule now you have to decide from which center the protonation will take place now you can see this nitrogen has lone pair and this oxygen also has lone pair okay so uh, obviously the lone pairs will take the proton but the question is which lone pair will take the proton uh, whether the nitrogen or the oxygen now if you consider the electronegativity of nitrogen and oxygen of course nitrogen has a lower electronegativity than oxygen and that's why its lone pair is uh, much more accessible that is uh, it can donate its lone pair more effectively so uh, if you consider only this concept you will uh, do this and uh, protonate over this nitrogen atom to get this right then uh, the next step may be hydrolysis simple hydrolysis so simple hydrolysis of this will give you acid okay so this product is fine but this step is actually wrong that is uh, when the amide gets protonated it is not the nitrogen atom which is protonated but the oxygen atom gets protonated first that is uh, the protonation will give you this right now the question is why this and not that so uh, the reason behind that is you can stabilize this uh, cation by this nitrogen lone pair which involves in resonance to give you another resonating structure like this okay but in this case you can see uh, you cannot uh, write down another uh, same structure of this molecule right so that's why uh, this protonated form is much more stable than this and that's why when whenever you uh, you are doing protonation of your amide molecule always you should take the proton with this oxygen atom now you can write down this mechanism in another way also that is you can push this nitrogen lone pair and then this oxygen will be protonated here so these are very uh, little description of your reaction mechanism but it is a very important concept and you should always uh, consider these things when whenever you are writing any reaction mechanism the second one is a nucleophilic substitution reaction that is if you do a nucleophilic substitution reaction on this molecule you will get this product okay or uh, you may have simple uh, molecule like this so here you may have bromine or maybe chlorine here you have and ome and you react it with any alcohol so you will get this or here ome right so this is a simple nucleophilic substitution reaction okay now uh, you may write down the mechanism as SN2 reaction and you will attack here that will give you this product but these reactions are actually not SN2 mechanism but it, these are SN1 mechanism that is you have to first make this carbocation by involving this oxygen lone pair so it will give you this carbocation right and then your uh, nucleophile for example ROH here they will attack on here to give you this product now why this carbocation is forming because you can see the oxygen lone pair is there and that oxygen lone pair can stabilize this positive center so that's why this carbocation is forming and whenever you have this type of situation where you have some alkoxide group present you can never write down SN1 mechanism here so this is again a common mistake while uh, writing down any reaction mechanism the next thing is uh, here is again a SN2 reaction and in this case you will get this dye all over here so here again you can push your uh, arrow and you can write like this to get this product but actually uh, this is not the mechanism so what is the mechanism so here you have this OH so first when you react with base what will happen you will have Cl here and this center will be deprotonated so you will have alkoxide now this alkoxide can attack here to give you this epoxide intermediate and then this epoxide can be attacked so now uh, the attack can either can take place from here or it can take place from here and depending on the feasibility of the attack you can get 
two protons. In this case, as the nucleophile is same, OH is the nucleophile, so uh, you cannot identify from which side the attack is uh, taking place. But of course, uh, from the primary center, always the attack will take place. So if you have any other nucleophile present in your reaction medium, for example, if you have in this case, if you have let's say a nucleophile ROH, then you will get this product, right? So here again, it is very important and. Uh, actually this mechanism is established by taking a chiral center here so uh, in this case what happens if chiral center is used if if it was a normal SN2 reaction then inversion of the center will take place but in this case what is happened is that uh, retention occurs and that's why we can say that uh, this reaction goes through this epoxide intermediate the next reaction is elimination reaction so this is the product of aldol reaction and if aldol condensation occurs, you will get this product. Now, uh, if you do this elimination like this, so this this cannot be a E2 elimination, right? So, what what is the actual case? Actual case is first this deprotonation will take place, and you will get this enolate over here, right? Now, this enolate when push back, it's uh, negative charge then this OH minus will go and you will get this product so this is basically a E1 CB reaction mechanism so here again you have to be very uh, careful and the final thing is the hydrolysis of uh, vinyl ether so this is a vinyl ether RO and hydrolysis with H plus H2O will give you uh, here you will get OH alcohol and another product you will get is aldehyde right so these are the product obtained now uh, one may write down the mechanism like so let's say the protonation will take place here which and now uh, water molecule sorry water molecule can attack here and you will get ROH plus this so tautomerization of this will give you this aldehyde so one may propose this mechanism but this is not actually the correct mechanism because if this would be the mechanism then uh, let's say you have normal ether like this r o r and you are doing hydrolysis of this with h plus h2o so then also you get two equivalent of alcohol so in this case what happens this first get protonated and then water molecule attacks here to give you this product so this reaction is very slow and no, uh, no, with normal acid this reaction doesn't take place you have to use hydrogen iodide which is a very or hydroiodic acid which is a very strong acid right but this reaction uh, when you have vinyl ether this reaction goes with uh, weak acid like HCl or HBr so how, it, how, it, how is it possible and what is the mechanism then so actually what happens here is that you have to again utilize the oxygen lone pair while doing the protonation right so first step protonation is actually taking place like this ro uh, here you have this protonation and now you have this oxygen now you can see you have water molecule in your reaction medium so water molecule can attack here to give you this ro and here you have oh right so this is a tetrahedral intermediate you can see this is a tetrahedral intermediate and after that if another protonation takes place here this can easily displace it so you will get roh plus this aldehyde so here you can see the mechanism is different in this case uh, the nucleophile is attacking at a sp2 carbon whereas in this case it is a sp3 center so that's why this reaction is faster and uh, with weak acid also this is possible so these are uh, the common mistakes uh, which students do while writing down mechanism i discussed only five of them there are a lot of other things if you want to know about more you can let me know in the comment section i will make another video so if you like this video then share this video with your friends and if you are new in this channel then subscribe my ch channel thank you for watching